It's Sonia Eckel, Senior Vice President Leader of the Planet Green Team and Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. So today is cleaning day at our house and of course we're to one of our very favorite spots, the toilet. Uh, we don't all love the toilet but it is something we want to keep clean and um, so I'm going to just teach you a couple tips. With Norwex it's really pretty easy. Um, I dedicate an Enviro cloth to toilets and so when we know we have a yellow Enviro, it's our toilet one. Yellow, appropriate, right? So this is what I start wiping down the cleanest areas first and just make sure that they're all clean. Wipe all that down. This is actually a removable toilet seat, so usually I would completely remove it, but you'll get the idea, okay? So wipe all that down. Remember the Enviro cloth's job is to remove all the contaminants from the surface. So super duper easy, okay? All right. Okay, got that all done. Then I usually just flip to a clean side and wipe around the base. Make sure that's all clean as well. All right. If you want, you can also use one of our all-purpose cleaners called the Blue Diamond and dilute it in a water bottle and you can spray that and use it along with your Enviro if it makes you feel better. Okay. So now I'm going to show you our two toilet cleaning solutions. Um, we've got our original toilet solution. Uh, this is called the Samira system. It comes with one year supply of toilet cleaning solution right in it. We put the brush on and this is the one that sits beside a lot of my toilets. You just hold it down for about four seconds and you'll watch the solution come out right on your brush and then I hold it a little different to make sure that that brush gets right out of the rim. And then clean. Okay. Clean all of that out. Flush. Now the wonderful thing is that this toilet system, this toilet brush, is about four years old and it still doesn't look nasty and gross. But a couple of things about this is that was created over in Europe and here in America we have these fancy little lids or rims around our toilet. And so Americans were asking for some bristles at the end of the brush and something to go underneath the rim. And so that's when this toilet brush came to be, it is rubber um, bristle and also will not harbor all that ishy junk all over it. Here's the blue diamond cleaner that I was telling you about. Super easy and it hangs so it doesn't sit in its um, in the stuff, uh, which is nice. You can put just a little bit right on your brush. It's very concentrated. So I usually kind of swish that around in the water a bit. And then use this part here to go underneath your rim and get that all clean. All right, and then I do the same thing. I flush. And rinse it out in that clean water. And hang it to dry. Sometimes people will tell me that they have, so that's easy, all done, that's pretty fast. But if you have a hard water ring in your toilet, you'll want to first bucket flush your toilet by pouring a bucket of water in really fast. It'll lower the water level. And then we do have a product called Descaler that is made to break down the hard water deposits on shower doors and toilet bowls and that sort of thing. So this works good. Um, I also have some people who have found that they really like the cleaning paste. This is if you don't mind putting on some gloves and getting your hands dirty, you can just take that yellow Enviro with a little bit of paste and go right in there and clean. Again, bucket flush it before you do that so you have that direct contact. Those two things aren't often needed, but they are. If you're looking for something, you're kind of troubleshooting. Those are some ideas. So hopefully this has been helpful, and I don't know if I can make toilet cleaning fun, but at least we can make it easy. So visit my blog, ReplaceChemicals.com, and I look forward to connecting with you to find out if we can help you with any of your cleaning needs in your home.